Welcome back everybody to Elder Scrolls Online with Tam Raincrafter. We are going to head into the Chapel of Light eventually. Um, I've just remembered, what am I doing here? Ah, going into a dungeon, which is not the Chapel of Light. It's been a couple of days since I played this. This is the Arboloria Delve. Let's go. So Tam Raincrafter is my... Um, my main character who plays through and this is a full playthrough so you do get to see all the boring bits all the grind all all the bits in between um, and she does stop to do everything else unlike um, Malara who is just a quest by quest so we'll, we'll play her one quest at a time uh, to make those easy for people to find and reference and um, Bookshelves, we have to. I know. Oops, now I've just been playing a Templar, so <laughs> give me a minute while I readjust. Ah, oh, yeah. While I readjust to a different weapon, a different style of uh, shooting. Thank you. Oh, wow. Is that yellow goblin to. Ooh, that sounds worrisome. I already know it. When did I pick that one up? Someone else doing the same thing I am. We'll probably run together without running together, if you know what I mean. We're following the same path. He, he looks like he's waiting for me. Hang on a minute, I just got here. Alright, we'll try not to keep him waiting long. Of course, this means that if there's any, any chests that he... The treasure chests and stuff, we'll, we won't be ransacking them. That, that's, um, he was here first. Bird to the head. Alright. Five. One. I know, in the last, the Templar had two, two attack things on one and two. He had bananas. Where am I going with this? We are exploring this chapel. We want to go this way. Um, because if you look, the light areas are up and the dark areas are down. Ow! I know. I don't think the bear's very impressed with him. So we're going for the sky shard. Worm cult. I know. It actually would have been nice to just run through, even though they were going to do it differently to me, but that's okay. Um... Hunger of Sep, the first scroll of Banda. There, go get it. Where's my map? Yep, I'm gonna go this way. There he is again, among the bones of Arboloria. Let's check out the bookshelves. Check out the backpack. I know it's junk. It's fine. Anyone would think he was waiting. This is Vagar. Oh, do you need a flame? Oh, 
All right, where do I think this guy's going to be? Probably back, maybe in this area here. We seem to be in the same, uh, of the same mind. Interview with the spider cultists, the immortal blood. Yeah, definitely in this area. Fishing guide. Ashur Ashigura's destructive journal. <laughs> Bear slap. thought the bad guy would be in here. Where am I? Okay. Maybe in the other direction, good point. Glories and laments. Discomforts of war. I don't think he's down here. Must be in this set there. book. We needed that. Alright, I'm thinking that this is the... oh. This is the way we want to go. Let me just check. Yeah, we want to go this way. this chamber and then I know, I think we're both looking for the same thing. No, no, we went that way last time. We want to go this way. Don't go that way, this way. Here he is.
friend of mortals. I'm not sure why he went that way. Maybe he's after, maybe he's farming. But this is the guy we're after. Oh, there he is. Easy done, right? Yeah, the bookshelves. That's what we're after. Articles of Sacrabal, the waters of oblivion. Prudence in practice. Dwemma dreams. You got him. Horror of Castle Zia, part one. A grifter's apology. Where were you? Picnic at Pelham, a horror story. First scroll of Banda. A request for relief. Good. There we go. That was one dungeon. It's so much nicer to run it with someone else, even if you're not friends, like officially friends. It's just nice to have that other person. All right. There's another dungeon over here, Malsora's tomb. We're going to go and see if we can do that. So we're going to hang a left. I'm not sure if it's in the other area or not, so we'll find out the hard way as usual. But I have a feeling that we're going to have to go through the Chapel of Light now. I think we've found everything we can. Yeah. Yep. Melsoros is up there. I don't think we can get there. All right, time to stop messing around. Time, I think. We went back to the hollow city and uh, started looking for our destiny. Enter the Chapel of Light. Well, I could run all the way, but I'm thinking, I might just grab this heartwood if there's any in there. Let's go. Hollow City time. Yeah, so we haven't defeated that one, but um, that's fine. We get to also do these. I haven't left them that long. Thank goodness. All right. I think we have found all, all of the possible allies that we can find. And so, I think it is time. 
convince the Nords. Wait a minute. Let me just see where that goes. That's the one we want to get to. I don't think there's anything out there for convincing the Nords. Okay, hang on. Into the Chapel of Light. Blood and Sand. Stargazers. Yeah, okay. That's in Stone Falls. We don't want to go that way. Uh, and what we do want to do is change it back to where we should be. Ringcold Harbour, the Army of Meridia, is what we're doing. Let's head into the Chapel of Light. And maybe pick up our, um, our equipment writs on the way. I won't do them though because I really want to get to this other one. We'll dog dog this way and we'll grab the um I have a delivery to make as well. That's irritating. It's fine. Alright. Now let's go. So we've what we've done is we've got as many as we can. From that area, we're going to head up north. I know I'm getting a little bit nervous now. Chapel of Light. Whew. Look at that. That's pretty, isn't it? I'm going to really admire the people who create these places. Oh dear. <sighs> Okay. Uh, I wanted to just check. I've got some champion points to spend before we go too much further. What have I got slaughtered? Treasure hunter, homemaker, master gatherer. Master gatherer could do with a little bit more help, couldn't it? All right. Um, I did want to check my backpack too. Yeah, we need to deal with that before we go too much further. My king. Welcome, friend. We need to discuss the preparations for the coming assault, but I wanted to wait until you arrived. Do you have any questions before we begin? Do we really need to attack Molag Mal? We need to end the plane meld before Nern is destroyed. Uh -huh. To do that, we must deal with the planar vortex. To reach the vortex, we need to cross the chasm and get through whatever defenses the Dark Lord throws at us. I fear battle is inevitable. All right, then. Let's start the council. Well said, friend. Uh, please, hold your questions until everyone who wants to has had an opportunity to speak. Understood. After that, we can debate the details as you see fit. Very well. Attention, please. That looks so empty, doesn't I it? Who have I missed? I have called you all here because the moment of destiny fast approaches. The great shackle has been destroyed, but not before a planar vortex was established. We must destroy this vortex before it sucks the very essences of Nern into Cold Harbor. The Fighters Guild shall deal with the Chasm's defenders, but blades have little power against magic. And that's where our scouts report that some kind of magical fixtures block access to the path across the chasm. Mages there already work on a way to overcome these fixtures. And we are prepared to lend our strength when the main force arrives. A sound plan. Plays to our unique strengths. But this one wonders. What if the mages can't overcome Molag Barl's magic? 
What a ridiculous question. <laughs> of course my mages can overcome this magic. Ah, magic. The solution to all life's problems. I love magic. It's so <laughs> magical. I have absolute confidence in Vanus and his mages. Thank you, your lordship. But to be honest with you, I'm not feeling as confident as Vanus about this. We shall fight with all our oh, strength. Casual. There is no other option. Lives will be lost, but hopefully a world will be saved. Know that the chasm is only the first stage of this battle. The planar vortex abides within the very heart of Molag Baal's lair. Oh, this just gets better and better. <laughs> Mind your tongue. Darian only seeks to lighten a tense situation. Still, we have to try. We do. To do nothing is to doom Tamriel to certain destruction. Well, when you put it that way, there are a lot of lovely ladies that need to be saved. Yes, <laughs> well, be that as it may, we launch our assault on the chasm immediately. The king needs to talk to the champion. And I must discuss some final details with the mages. Well, someone's the grumpy today. Preparations to see to, I'm sure. Let's go talk to the king. Your majesty. It is settled. We shall cross the chasm and make our way to the planar vortex at the heart of Molag Baal's realm. Now that you know the plan, I have a special request to make of you. I'm listening. This mission needs a leader. I want you to lead the assault across the chasm. Your Majesty. We have asked so much of you, and you have already accomplished the impossible. But you are one of a very small few that I would trust with this task. Very well. As you command. I knew we could count on you. Oh no. You have never disappointed me. But there is so much left to do if we are going to win this war. Still... With you leading the charge, we have an excellent chance to end the plane meld and save our world. Explain the plan to me again, Your Highness. With the combined forces of the Fighters Guild and the Mages Guild, we must take the battle to Molag Baal and reach the portal to the planar vortex. It all starts at the chasm. Scouts are already in place, gathering information ahead of your arrival. Tell me more about the chasm. It is a narrow, well-defended span of rock, swarming mm -hmm. with Daedra and dominated by a gatehouse that blocks the way into Molag Baal's personal domain. Cadwell knows right. the region. He's a strange fellow, but I trust him. He's waiting for you at the chasm. All right, Your Majesty, I'll find Cadwell and we'll cross the chasm. Uh, let's see what's in our mail. Okay. All right, let's go. We've got a plant to save. Ooh, what's down there? Okay, but before that we need to empty our backpacks. We are going into a new area. The Rotwood Enigma. Crow and Raven. Oh my gosh! Two patterns! I love it when that happens. There's a, I've got a small percentage chance uh, that that will now happen. It's kind of cool when it does. I don't know if they're two patterns that I don't know, mind you. Oh three patterns. I'm in little pattern heaven now. Little crafter heaven. Alright. I know I just ransacked the Chapel of Lights. Excuse me. Um, not my best thing, was it really? Oh dear into my inventory. I know that one. I didn't know that one. Oh, that one would drop things down. Part of Meridia's blessed armor set. I might have to see if I've got a few more bits of that around actually. Hmm. 
Mantle of Honor. Yeah. Just really looking for bits that'll give me a bit more of an advantage. Uh, but the sets, the advantage you get from the sets are um, outweighs them mostly. Part of Meridia's blessed armor. Yep. Now look at that. Stamina, but weapon and spell damage. So I've got one, two, armor and spell recovery. You know, I'm I'm happy without the, the blessed armor. Let's have a look at the jewelry. Again, part of the Meridia's blessed armor. So I could actually have a full set. Let's go into weaponry. What am I What am I carrying? Staves. Okay. Let's go and um, I am glad I picked up my my crafting stuff now because what we'll do is we'll go and we'll uh, get our crafting bits away, squared away. Actually, I might go and deliver that delivery first and then um, pick up that last writ so we can deliver it all in one go. I know, it takes a bit of a run, doesn't it? We might drop in at the stables too. There we go. Complete that quest. Talk to Afnir Kolmu. I left my family back in Windhelm to come here. I hope I don't live to regret it. You'd regret it more if we lost the planet. Add some carry capacity. Beautiful. Don't want to lose our world, Afnir. I know I should be collecting all of that stuff, but I'm actually quite anxious to get um, to get moving on the on the next part of the adventure. Yep, that's Cadwell. We've brought so many in. I still can't help wondering what I've missed. Bound to be something. All right, so we're going to do our crafting writs. We're going to put things on to research. Um. And we're going to clear our backpacks. We'll just get things done. If you don't have a crafting bag, bag to put all your stuff in, one of the things I used to do was I would keep all of the raw materials in my pack and I would put all of the processed materials into my bank. And that is because I... Um, Sorry, I'll get there. That's because every time you process something, it takes up more spaces, but you can't always process. That process is in batches of 10. So if you have 24, you, you will then have two slots taken instead of freeing up a slot because you will still have four of the raw item and you will have had the four things you just processed, which is annoying because they're no good to you except when you're doing, um, doing this. There's nothing to research. Let's head into creation. We are creating a thing. Looks like it's a great sword today. We're making it out of rubidite. And I'll just use the one that's got the most. That looks like it. Dark elf style today. Rodeo. Oh, we're not done yet. What are we thinking? Into the armor. Boom, blacksmith writ is done. And all of the blacksmith stuff is out. So this would clear a space because we have raw ancestor silk. Flax. Raw jute. Raw hide. Rubido hide. Okay. Uh, let's look in deconstruction, see if there is anything to research. So no, there's not, so I won't waste time looking for it. No one, Nothing's got a little hourglass, a uh, little magnifying glass beside it. Let's go straight into here, get our shoes done, get our hat done, and our sash because we're already on the stuff that we need to be on. It's ready to go. To 
Uh, that was our clothing. Here's our woodworking station. Into deconstruct. Nothing to research once again. Let's go into creation. Make sure we're on the right material. All right, that is all of our equipment crafting writs, except for the jewelry, which is hiding over here. I'm just trying to work out why I don't have another um, alchemy writ. Maybe it's because, maybe it's because I actually picked that one up today. And I had just had the stuff in my thing that I could that I needed. Bear likes honey. Gotta get the bear his honey. Seafood supper. Corundum and a lock pick. I don't wish to use the outfit station today. I still haven't worked out how to do it. I know, don't ask me how many hours of play. I'm just not au fait with how that goes. We'll get there to smite with dragon claws alchemy station which we don't have anything for um, and a cabinet she won't be using while the demon game cranberry seasoning sack we're good um, actually we should be seeing what we can sell the lady Kalinor the man Despite the lack of my ingredients bad. I'm used to dealing with, this desolate place isn't half bad. I'm glad he likes it. Go to sell. All right, get the ash out. I could sell the Aliad's Hope, I suppose, but I won't. Carapace, Daedra Husk, Dwarven Gear. I'm not selling the armor stand. That thing is coming home with me and we're putting it in a house. Or in our in-room, one of the two. All right, but the rest could go. Uh, where are we at? I know that's where I need to be. So the only thing I need to do is remember to find a cooking fire. I think these nice people have already ransacked the place. Clothier light armor basics. Alrighty, enchanting table. Let's deconstruct a few things. And let's construct a few things. I know, we'll get there. Derado Oko. Ah, uh, and I need the jewelry crafting table. Might as well get that thing running. It's me to make two of those, isn't it? Yep. All right. Let us go. Just got to go and drop a few things off and then we're going to head on up to the chasm, I think. Got a little bit of time. I know, we'll get there. I'm getting faster now. Crate Woodworker. Yep. There were more people. You know what I forgot? I'm the sure provision is read. I'll have these supplies ready for their return. Excellent. Good to hear. What if there's a, a nearby cooking fire that we could just duck up to rather than having to run all the way up to the inn?
It's like um like a folk song, it's an English folk song that the soldiers used to sing. Let's see if that's a cook fire. No. Alright. We'll we'll pick one up on the way through. Dark alchemy lab. I'm not sure I want to use a cook fire in here, but but there is one, so it's nice and close to where we want to be. I know. Dark alchemy. Yeah, you're gonna. I know. Anything that isn't tied down with this girl. Because she's the arms and armor. Alrighty. Which, of course, makes it really easy to deliver it, doesn't it? Because it's really close to our. Um, to our thing. Alright. Let's see what's in the boxes. Consumables. Provisioners pack. Fragment 2. I wonder if I've got that, because that would be awesome if I don't. Alright, we know the drill. Let's see if there's anything in here I don't know. Rim and Sour Bock. Right. Uh, then we head on over to miscellaneous fragment two I need the rest of the fragments to learn that uh, I should probably see if I need that because I don't think I've got one running no <laughs> oops repair items might as well use that just get everything repaired Okay, that's not too bad. Alright, 88 spaces out of 177. That's nearly 100 spaces. Sheer luxury. We're not convincing Dark Elves of anything, therefore it slipped off the thing again. Crossing the chasm. Well, let's go talk to Cadwell. I know, I'm excited. This is um, the main story quest for... Uh, the main world story quest, right? So you start you start with your your various regional main story quests, but this one this is the main story quest that involves that starts when you get your soul torn from your body by an evil magician. After speaking to a mysterious hooded figure, never do that. But if you don't, you will never kick off this storyline. Cadwell, you looking fine today? Well, this has my knickers in a twist. We have a perfectly fine army, but what good is it? Sitting around this side of the chasm, twiddling its collective thumbs. It's rather embarrassing, if truth be told. What's the situation? The situation? We're well and truly flummoxed. Before we could cross the chasm, before we could confront Molog Gunda, we were stopped by a few irksome focus stones. The wee ginger mage says <laughs> we need to break the stones, but good luck with that. Break the stones? Sounds easy. What's the problem? Nothing other than the multitude of Dremora sitting on top of them. Uh, well, I we could can do with this myself, and I didn't want to make the rest of the troops sad by showing off my awesome battle skills. But you, on the other hand, they're, they're used to that. <laughs> oh, thanks, Cadwell. Let's um, let's go to the chasm and and see if we can show off our awesome battle skills. Oh man. Uh, oh right, I jumped off the bridge. Like the clever little bunny that I am. Sorry, sorry, uh, Tamrain. Okay, don't hit them. They're on our side. I gotcha. And so is he. Alright, well, we've crossed a chasm. Oh, wow, these guys don't look like they're twiddling their thumbs. They look like they're a little bit sore. I don't know what he's doing. He looks like he's beating something up. Beat up a few focus stones. Yeah, destroy the folk and stones. Talk to Gathwin. Where's Gathwin? 
Oh, below. What? Below? Okay, looks like we've got our work cut out for us. Best not to have these things at our back. Alright, we free him up. That was a design. Yes, we need to beat up more of those things. They carry patterns to work from. Oh man, he dodged. And he doesn't like having a bird to the head. Looks like a focus stone to me. Light it up. Don't light it up. Yeah, you slept that mage for burning me. That's just rude there. Get him. Alright, let's take this thing out. Now, before we head down that... Oh, there's one over there. Right, we'll get that one done then. Ah, oh, I think he might have noticed me. Yes. All right then, well, we'll deal with them. Bear, slap it. Slap it, get it, bear. Oh, you need a bit more time before you can do the slap thing again? No worries, we'll get him. Ow. That was like a heat-seeking fireball. We need to deal with that. All right, we're going to smash this stone. Looks like we're going to have company on our journey. You know what? Snorfin, good to see you. No, you leave my Snorfin alone. Where's he gone? Oh, he's going to get the other focus stone. That's all right. While he does that, hopefully he... I know, right? Bad breath are us. You're back! Nice to see you. Yep. He doesn't really need my help. But it is nice to have someone to Leave some for me! I know, right? Someone is having a lot of fun. Uh, I think he needs some mushrooms though. Does he get mushrooms if I point this at him and mushroom him? Oh, he did too! <laughs> Don't jump out of the mushrooms, you menace! Those are your mushrooms! So yeah, so if I point at him and then go to... Okay, I, I know, I want to see if I can cast it on other people because it's fun. Alrighty. Let's go find Cadwell. You coming? No, you're leading. Okay, that sounds good. Darian has rushed you can on have those. As usual. I shall proceed with caution. Good show. The portal belongs to us now. So Darian and that lovely lizard have gone on. <laughs> I think he might be a bit intimidated by our prowess on the field of battle. Oh no. He's trying to compensate. <laughs> Any idea what I should expect up there? Hunda's a cheeky one, and she knows we're getting close. She's summoning reinforcements faster than Darian can kill them. You'd best get to it. I need to ask you something else. By all means. Do you want to know how many Daedra can dance on the head of a pin? Oh, uh, no. How I managed to say so cheerful, even in the most perilous of circumstances? What's my favorite color? <laughs> ask away. What can you tell me about Mola Grunda? Mola Grunda? A large woman with wings? Bit of a temper? Guards the gatehouse. I hear that she's the daughter of Molon Ball, if you can believe that. He never struck me as a family man, but who am I to judge? Um, 
Why do you know so much about Cold Harbor? It's my home, old chum. Has been for years. I know every wondrous nook and cranny. Beautiful place, full of fascinating creatures. Of course, they often try to kill you, but that's the challenge of it, isn't it? It is. I'm ready. Let's move out. But guys, on that note, I'm going to bid you adieu. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit like. If you want to see more, please hit subscribe. And I will check you later. Take care out there.